Hello, my name is Darren Thomas and I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, I will be showing you how to use the attendance module in Moodle. Attendance is something that we're all familiar with as, as educators. It's a way of tracking the presence of students. In Moodle, they have this feature for um, tracking attendance and it's particularly useful for those of us who are in some sort of a blended learning environment. Of course, by blended, blended learning, we mean an environment in which the students have online activities and also face-to-face -face activities. So, now I'm already logged into Moodle and I already turned editing on. That's why this button is now red instead of green. And so in order to set up a, um, an attendance module, all I have to do is click on add an activity. And then attendance is right here near the top. I click on this and I click add. And of course, uh, you have to give it a name, but what's unique about the attendance module in Moodle is that it comes with a default name. Many activities, almost no activities that I know of come with a default name in Moodle. You almost always have to give it one, but for whatever reason, the attendance module comes with a preset name. Um, most of these features here are really beyond the scope of this video, but if you want, and I'm assuming you're already familiar with how to set up the gradebook, you can grade, um, attendance activities if you want inside the gradebook, and so you can set this up. Um, some teachers like to do that, some teachers do not. So I'll let you explore that on your own. But after you come to this screen, the next screen you want to click on, or the next thing you want to click on is save and display. So I click here. And now we're inside the actual attendance uh, module where we can actually begin to set up things. The primary thing that you want to do as um, someone who is setting up an, an attendance module is you want to add sessions. A session is similar to like, you know, a day in a regular face-to-face -face class where, you know, you take attendance by day. Adding the session allows you to take attendance by session and it can get very, very complicated. You can have multiple sessions in one day if you want. It just goes on and on. But we're just going in this video to show you how to set up having one session per day. So to do that, I click add session and now I'm here. So at the top, we have the date that is, for example, the first day of class. So in my example, I'm going to set the first day of class to be January 1st, just for simplicity's sake. Or let me make it September as that's in the future. So September 1st, 2017. So I'm preparing for, you know, fall semester, first semester, whatever you want to call it. Also, another option that you have is you can set the time for the actual class. Again, this allows you to, you know, have multiple sessions in a day or whatever you want. So we're just going to put it for start at 8 o'clock, go until 9 o'clock. So again, but you don't have to set the time. Another feature that they have is allowing the students to take their own attendance. Um, this allows students to check in and out on their own through Moodle. Um, again, if you're having distant students, this would be the only way for you to know that, that they were there. But if you're using a blended environment, you can check the attendance yourself. Now, all of these features here are just under one session. But normally, we want to have multiple sessions. And so this is the second window down here. These two kind of work together often. So um, the first thing you want to do is repeat the session above as follows. So we set this information up here in order to set the information down here below. Now for repeat on, you have to determine um, which days you want the session on. For K-12, normally you meet Monday through Friday. Um, there are some exceptions. Some classes meet twice a week as an example, particularly at university. They might meet twice or even once a week. So you have to keep in mind your own schedule. So I'm going to put a traditional Monday through Friday class. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm checking all the boxes here. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Also, you have to look at the repeat every. So right now it's set to one. That means that Moodle will create an attendance day for every once a week. Once a week, I'll have a Monday. Once a week, I'll have a Tuesday, etc. If you set it to two, you'll have classes every two weeks. So it'll be like um, two times a, a month that the class will happen. So it'll take two of the four Mondays out of a month. You know, the first one and the third one, or the second one and the fourth one, depending on what day you start on. For most of us, our classes are going to meet um, every week, but there are exceptions to that. So in general, it's easiest to always keep this 
on one because you're going to have your classes meet every every week your classes meet and then at the bottom it has repeat until so for me if you remember i set my start date for september 1st so i want my class to end we'll just say december 1st of the same year so you have to make sure the start date must always be before the repeat until date i think you can tell why otherwise you'll get an error message so it looks like everything is set up i set the start date i gave it a time I don't want the students to take their own attendance. I will do that. If I wanted, I could put a description, but it's not necessary. But I also set up the multiple session options. I said, repeat the session above as follows. I want this on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I want it to happen every week, and I want it to repeat until December 1st, 2017. After completing all these features, you click Add. And so there you have it. Here are all of our days. So you can see right here, we start on September 1st, 2017, and then we go to uh, September 4 because September 1st is a Friday, and then we jump back on a Monday, September 4, et cetera, all the way down. Whenever I wanna take attendance, I just click right here on the little green button that says take attendance for that day, and then I can set it. And so these are the default features right here. P means present, L means late, E means excused, A means absent. And so I select as appropriate and then I click save. And that is how it works. So I hope that this video was useful for you in terms of understanding how to set up um, the attendance module in Moodle. In future videos, I'll show you some of the uh, various options and features that go with this. And one other thing that is important to remember is that you can have many different activity, uh, I'm sorry, attendance activities inside Moodle. So traditionally, I have my teachers have one for the entire course, but you can make as many of these as you want and put them anywhere. So it gets very confusing. In general, I recommend making only one, having it at the top of your page, and then using it throughout the semester. So uh, thank you very much for listening. We will see you in a future video.